So today we got Megan Donnelly from Able Sin. How you Guys, doing? Welcome. I'm great. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, thanks thanks for, for bringing this guy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've wanted to sort of see this thing. It's kind of the hot topic out there, and it's here. They have the Mini, the Amira, and the Alexa. Correct. What's the difference? So it's actually more similar to um, the Mira in some ways because it does CFast cards, so it's CFast 2.0 as far as the recording format. Um, it can do Apple ProRes in 4K UHD, would be the highest resolution, and that can do 60 frames a second, and then you can do 200 frames a second um, and 2K on down, so that's right. a little more similar to the Mira. It can record HD, 20 by 1080, 2K, and then it can also record 3.2K, which I think is interesting mm. that they have that in there as well. Mm. And then it can also do 4K UHD. So <laughs> it has an Academy 4.3 type sensor. Correct. But when you're shooting anamorphic, are you really in 3K mode there or are you in 2K mode? You're in 2.8K mode. Okay, good. So what is the 3K mode? 3.2K allows you to shoot in the native resolution of the sensor mm -hmm. and not doing any up or anything if you don't require 4K acquisition. Right. So it's still you know, plenty of resolution to crop in for HD distribution or even to up and post for 4K distribution. Got it. They took the same sensor from the Alexa, so you have the same great look that the Alexa line does if you're matching it with cameras or if you really like the airy look. Um, but then they you know, were able to create this small form factor. They also have a lot of integration similar to the Mira where you can create a look either in camera or in post. So with this camera, just like with the other area line, you can choose whether you're baking it in or are you just monitoring it. Right. Yeah. So you can have it right. for if the DP wants to show the look to the client mm -hmm. or you know, it's important for the shoot versus baking it in. So do you think it was really developed in mind as like a B camera or, or, or also you know, kind of like how we're showing it here, where it could be an A camera. Right. I think initially they thought it was going to be a B camera. And mm. now, you know, as its specs have developed and can stand next to another Alexa or any other camera, really, it can be an A camera. When the camera first came out, I think the biggest question was, well, how are we going to rig it? Obviously, we're showing it in a documentary configuration here. It's, you know, part of our recoil system. The only two parts that are unique to this camera is this top plate and this bottom plate and the sides if you choose to use them. Everything, if you own a, a Zacuto recoil, you're done. It's the same, it's just as good same as any price. other one yeah. you have. I mean, the beauty of the camera is that it's small, it's boxy, and you can turn it in anything you want right. to turn it into. Well, it's you kind know? of that, that open source kind of mentality. You kind of just make yeah. the box and then people can run with it the rest right. of the design. Right. Um, and and just, just, just to be clear, I like our top and bottom plate, they, you can flip the camera up and still keep this a top plate and a bottom plate you know, if you want to slide it on right. our VCT okay. or whatever it is. And then these, these plates are interchangeable this way or this way or side, so if it's very configurable. Them. Yeah, I mean, some people right. aren't going to want Which is the, the point of this camera, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I would say you know it's nice I mean? that you complimented it that way. But you yeah. wanted to be able to create an option by having all four of these plates on for total protection of the camera body. Right, so, so like people you, want to cage it in, but you don't need to, as you can see. But you've covered all the corners so that you can't have any impact. Yeah, it won't actually really hit the corners right now. So. While we're talking about this, uh, I like how uh, this was actually your idea where, as opposed to having this red plate system on our new sliding VCT Pro plate, uh, you actually built the, uh, the dovetail. i got to give credit to John for that. Okay. Downstairs. Great. He, he actually came up with that. Then he built the dovetail directly into this yeah. bottom plate. So you can see here how it just slides right on there and very quickly can go either on the tripod or on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. So I actually think it's a really kind of cool ENG camera. You know, it's to me it's smaller than the Amira. It's too tall for my taste. You know, we, we got to give the pros and the cons. We, right. we're, we do that. <laughs> uh, it's, it's too top heavy. Every one of these damn cameras, I wish they would saw it off right here and put that chunk in Part the Part of back. what's making you say that is because it's so short and stout now because the Alexa and the Amira are probably just are, as tall. Right. I know, and they're Absolutely. very top heavy cameras. Well, I'm just saying that, <laughs> you know, this isn't any worse. It's just shorter and smaller. Right. I don't I mean, know that. I didn't measure them, but regardless, one thing that we're trying to do is at least the, the, the distance between the bottom of the camera yeah. and the shoulder is about, what, three quarters of an inch? Uh, if that. I mean, ours is as low as you can get. Which is critical. I mean, a, a half an inch is a big difference when you have this and the thing is doing this wobble factor. Mm -hmm. We know that the indie market is going to be buying this and it is going Absolutely. to be their A cam. Yeah, it is going to be yeah. their Movi cam, tripod cam, right. documentary cam. So. You know, we do what we do, which is make from tripod to handheld. But that kind of leads us to the other thing. So there's only really, what, the four buttons on the side plus the, the record button? Right. So to access all the menus and all that business, you either have to use the Amira viewfinder, viewfinder correct. or 
this new trans video monitor that's coming out, right. which is what we would recommend yeah. so that you can use a more inexpensive but high, high quality, actually better quality, we say, viewfinder. The antenna in the back is for wireless lens control, and the camera also has built-in Wi-Fi interface for web-based remote control for phones and Android devices. For two SDI outs. I do not, I say this in every single video, we get a camera that's got one SDI out. If that breaks, what, the shoot's over for the day? Or you can't watch anything. You can't, well, but <laughs> if I can't anything. see anything, I, what good is it? Right. Uh, this is also how you can do Airy raw to a codex recorder okay. if you need higher That's frame cool. rate. So the camera also does Airy raw internally to 30 frames to see mm. fast cards, okay. which is something it previously, you know, Lexus right, didn't do. Yeah, right. But then if you need a higher frame rate in raw, codex recorders will do a higher than 30 and you use the BNCs okay, at the great. back. Great. Nice. I like that it's kind of simplistic. It doesn't have a ton of options here. Right. Okay, you got your battery input yes. there. You got an external. So here, if you notice, the camera doesn't have a whole lot of other ports. So the EXT was developed to add a three-pin connector for a remote start-stop or mm -hmm. other adapters that they've developed to So it's a, remote, port. it's a remote function. Exactly. We're going to be using that with our control grip so that we can control the entire camera from our hand grip right. here. Okay, what do we got in the back so here? The back time, got code. time code. You can do in and out, configurable in the camera. Yeah. So, there's, so I see where they're going here. This is make a nice little multicam setup. Right. Uh, what do we got here? ETH. That ETH. Oh, that's the Ethernet connector. So that's a right. limo to an Ethernet yeah, that you can use to mm -hmm. log online. Aerie uses it for service or for... Oh, yeah. yeah, no, we can control through that as well right. now, too. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah. it's, that's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then on this side we have, you know, I'm assuming these are pre-programmed buttons. What can you control with these buttons? Let's say you didn't have any of the other external controls. Can you... Do everything you need to from here. It's you, just cumbersome. You have to previously set it up beforehand. Uh, right. Um, but they, you know, then you can configure a false color or zebras or magnification mm -hmm. so tools for the AC buttons. or the DP. Right. Okay. So that's the limo connector for audio. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing we should talk about is the L bus connector that's on the, on the PL mount. mount. Yeah. Right. So right now we have a PL mount. They also have an EF mount and a B4 mount for the camera. Mm -hmm. And the PL mount has an L bus connector so that you can use. C force motors mm. and you know control iris focus or zoom depending mm -hmm. on what lens you have without another um, piece of device so it, it's all integrated into the uh, camera so if you have this on a gimbal or a movi or a handheld and you want to do iris or focus from the assistant and have a hand unit okay got it you so this is going unit. and coming out the wireless or something exactly. oh, okay. right so you don't need the separate box that's the, the receiver trans right. or transmitter, transmitter or whatever yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. so you still need the receiver to the camera is that box exactly then. now if you use the b format it's obviously doing some kind of a crop factor right it is yes so it becomes a two-thirds inch sensor at that point right okay that's cool yeah, so um, users with those lenses can, can, you know, use this camera, which is great. Well, it's not so much the lenses. It's like Jens and I actually, we do documentaries. We don't really like these large sensor cameras. When I'm shooting a person, I don't want to have to hit them with a ton of light. Right. And when I shoot wide open, the difference between their eye and their nose is is different. You know, or the ears are way out of focus. Right. Yeah, I don't like that. Right. The, the two-thirds inch field. sensor is great. We, you know, we have... We don't have shallow depth of field, and we can use our lenses, and we love those servo zoom lenses. It's a great camera. I mean, there's no question about it. It's going to be very successful, and we appreciate that you came here and talked to us about it. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having me. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Thank Thanks. you.